Hello, my name is Jessica. Welcome to my channel where creativity comes first. I post beauty, art, ASMR, and vlogging content all sprinkled in there for your viewing pleasure. If any of that sounds amenable to you, then subscribe to my channel and join my average army because I need your help to dominate the world. Okie dokie, my fun fact for today is that I don't understand Star Wars. Star, I don't understand Star Wars. I swear to goodness, I'm so annoyed with the fact that I mispronounce words so often. Okay, two fun facts. I mispronounce words a lot because I mumble. Second fun fact is I don't understand Star Wars, even though I've watched it so many times. I don't understand which movies are supposed to come first. I don't know what the hell the storyline is ever. So, just want to share that with you. Let's get into today's video. I feel super duper special because I was tagged by Megan McIntoshi. Megan, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Anywho, I was tagged by Megan to do the 21 questions, the 21 makeup question tag. What's it called? 21 questions, the makeup edition. I don't know. It's the 21. Jesus Christ, Jessica making this so much harder than it has to be. Okay, question number one is, what is the oldest makeup product in your collection? Now, um, I'm a little embarrassed to say that I still have these, but um, my very first foundation was the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And uh, up until about a year ago, I was still using these on a regular basis. And I think they're about six years old maybe more I honestly think six is like on the low end I, they could be like upwards of eight years old or something like that um like all the packaging is like peeling off sometimes when I touch it it just like rubs off on my hands and I have these like silver little little flakies that'll get on my face anyway these are very old and I should declutter them but they are still in my collection Question number two is, what is my most recent makeup purchase? Okay, so March is my birthday month, and I decided early on that I was going to buy something special for myself and that I'd order it sooner than later, so hopefully I'd get it around my birthday. But I ordered this Asgard Queen Cosmetics palette, and it's coming from Russia. It's handmade and it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm super, super excited about it. I will definitely do a video on it when I get it. I have no idea how long it will take, but I cannot wait to have this lovely lady in my collection. Okay, question number three is, what is the first makeup product you ever used? Um, ooh, ooh, okay, I kind of, I can't remember this very clearly because um, I wasn't into makeup growing up, which is surprising now. I've, I really got into makeup as an art form now that I'm older, but um, I probably started wearing lip gloss first because like everyone was just wearing lip gloss in the 90s. Like It was hard to not wear lip gloss. It was everywhere. So I was probably wearing lip gloss or I remember specifically wearing concealer once I started getting acne spots in high school and then like maybe a little mascara most likely it was lip gloss but one of those three question number four is what is a makeup trend that you used to love but now you hate um uh, oh no I never liked that um, I can't think of something that I used to love, but I hate now. Things that I hated back then, I... S no, no, that's not true. I think I have to move on to the next question because I cannot think of anything that I used to like, but now that I dislike. Okay, the next one is, what is a makeup trend that you used to hate, but now you love? So, I do have two answers for this. Faux freckles and blush draping. I used to not understand face makeup 
Like I was like, why does anyone even do it? <laughs> I was like, just do your eyeshadow. It's the funnest part. Um, but now that I'm more into using makeup as an art form, like I was saying, I'm super into the face makeup and I love blush draping. I love adding faux freckles. So I'm definitely on board with those two trends. Mm, question number six. What is your favorite step in your makeup routine? Hmm. I have to say eyeshadow or if I'm doing something elaborate for Instagram, like I love gluing things to my face. <laughs> that sounds goofy. <laughs> but um, like gluing on little pearls or little rhinestones or little flower petals or whatever, like to see like in a, a more elaborate look come to life is very fun. Um, but on like a daily basis, I guess eyeshadow, but on a more daily basis, I guess foundation because I often don't even wear eyeshadow if I'm like going out. I'm just a ball of conundrums, aren't I? I don't think conundrums was the word I was looking for. Paradoxes, conflicts of interest. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. Number seven is, um, what is a makeup product you can't live without? Hmm. I guess I'd go with foundation. Um, yeah, I just get a lot of redness and when I'm embarrassed, my cheeks get flushed really easily and having foundation on makes me feel a lot more confident. Um, I just feel like I'm not going, like my, my naturally socially awkward, <laughs> stressed out, embarrassed self will not shine through if I have my foundation on and it makes me feel more comfortable. So I'm going with that. Awkward finger pistol. Um, number eight, what sparked your love for makeup? Just art. I've always played around with a bazillion different art mediums and I'd get bored of one thing and try something new and uh, once my acne subsided when I was a young adult, I was just like looking at makeup a lot and I got into watching makeup YouTube. Like I was really just watching um, Rob Beauty Christie and Samantha Ravindahl. I mean, I was watching other people too, but like at first that was, they were who I was watching because I thought they were entertaining. I was like, oh, like I can do this in a way that's like really art artistic and I don't know it just felt more true to who I am um because growing up I didn't like the idea of makeup at all it felt like it was kind of like this gate kept community where I didn't feel like I was pretty enough to be a part of it this whole thing I think I might make a, a video about that one day but um what the hell was the question <laughs> what sparked my love for makeup okay one wanting to be artistic in a lot of capacities and then makeup looking really fun to do. And then two, watching it on YouTube. Okay. Figured it out. Number nine, what is the worst makeup look you've ever done? I don't know. Oh, I do know. I don't know if I have any photo evidence, but I know. Oh my gosh, for my senior prom, I wore a yellow dress, which I really think was pretty. Um, but I wore, Jesus, I wore purple eyeshadow with it. Because I was like, ooh, they're like complimentary colors. And I just, I think back and I was like, I'm horrified. Why did I do that? I, I you'll never know. Man, I made bad decisions in the past. Okay. Um, what is my favorite makeup look? Oh, what is my favorite makeup look I've ever done? Um, I would say this green hydrangea look. Um, this was my first look that was ever reposted by a brand. Thank you, Adept, for reposting this look. Um, it just felt really special. I remember doing that look one night and, um, I just felt the creative juices flowing and it felt so editorial 
and fun for me. I remember I did a glossy lid and I stuck seed beads on my lid and just like the whole thing felt really fun. Um, so that's my favorite right now, but I don't know. Ask me on another day and I'd probably pick something else. Okay. Number 11 is what is your favorite drugstore makeup product? I think this question is a crime against humanity because how are you supposed to pick only one? I'm picking three. <laughs> I even grabbed them because I'm like, I love them so much. So this is my favorite foundation. This Light Illusion Foundation by Flower Beauty. It's awesome. Amazing. Love it to death. And then the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara is my go-to. My ride or die. I love her. And I recently have fallen in love with the primer infused shimmer blushes from e.l.f. They're fantastic. I'm wearing one today. The next question is, what is your favorite splurge makeup product? None. It's crushed up pigments. I don't think I should ever overspend for that kind of thing. I've never bought luxury makeup. So I'm just thinking to make sure that's true. No, I don't really plan on it ever either. I mean, it would have to friggin' knock my socks off. That thing would have to cook me dinner to be worth a luxury price point. And I just, I don't see it. I, I don't see makeup being worth that much to me. Um, except for Danessa Myrex maybe because her products look very versatile and cool. Oh, and Ritual Defie. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but those two, hmm, they could probably take my money, but everything else I don't care about. Um, I should have worn my glasses as well. What is your most repurchased makeup product? Oh, definitely my mascara and this one in particular. Yeah, I think it's the only product I've repurchased and I've bought it many times. 13 is, I answered that. 14 is, what is your earliest makeup memory? I was not connected to makeup growing up at all. At all. Not even in middle school. It was only in high school where I started to play around a little bit. And even then I wasn't really into it. Um, I had acne and I just felt really self-conscious and I didn't want anyone to look at me. And it was like, I couldn't win. Like if I didn't wear makeup, people would look at my acne. And then if I did wear makeup, people would look at me seeing me try to cover up my acne. I mean, it was my own warped thinking about it back when I was in high school, but. So I guess that was it. I, I remember wanting to cover up my acne when I was in high school and feeling really embarrassed. And then makeup kind of became wrapped up into that feeling of shame around my skin, which I did not need to feel, but I did feel at the time. Dang, that's sad. Everyone else is like, oh, like I remember my mom's makeup and I loved it. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I was ashamed of my skin in high school. Okay, moving on. Number, <laughs> Uh, God, number 15 is what is your favorite place to shop for makeup? Definitely Ulta or online for like indie brands. Um, Sephora is just like way too expensive. No, thank you. Uh, the next question is what is the most underrated makeup product you own? Okay. I'm not sure if these are that underrated, but like. I don't hear people talk about them as much as I think they should be talked about. And I, I recently made a video on the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipsticks, but they're just so dang good for three bucks. Like the price point is unbelievable for a lippy that is this quality. So I think they're underrated. They're amazing. Um, what is the most overrated makeup product I own? I don't know if I own any overrated makeup because I really have not bought into hype around products, I guess. And I've not, if I don't think a product is worth the money, I just don't spend it. Number 18 is, what is a discontinued makeup product you wish would come back? 
and my love affair with makeup has not been going on long enough to have an answer for that question. Maybe I'll have an answer in a few years, but at this point, literally nothing. <laughs> and I don't really get FOMO when it comes to products, luckily, so I, I don't feel like I'm missing out. Um, number 19 is where do you go for makeup inspiration? And I just kind of like slap things on until I think it's good enough. I'm not great at planning out looks, honestly. Um, yeah, but I would say I get inspiration from nature a lot. I've been wanting to put lots of natural elements into my looks. Just seeing everyone's creativity on Instagram is also very inspiring. So I just, I kind of try to absorb some of the creative ideas I see and work those ideas into my looks. Number 20 is what do you hope to see less of in makeup's future? And the main thing that I want to see less of is, um, capitalism and over consumerism, I think at the heart of racist and ableist and exclusionary practices in the makeup industry, capitalism is like at the heart of that, of just wanting to sell, sell, sell and not care about the impact that you are making on groups of people, especially marginalized groups of people. So I just, I really think we need to slow the hell down on this consumerism. There's so many products released all the time. There's so many people in the small beauty community always buying new things to make more content, to try and get to the top. And it's just, it's too much, man. I thought it was a joke until I started like making content. It's like, it's real. It's crazy. Okay. The next question is, what do you hope to see more of in makeup's future? And what I want is for there to be inclusion, for there to be support, for there to be just a love for creating and artistry and building other people up. That's what I want. I want everyone to feel beautiful and appreciated for who they are. I want every group and every group and every type of person to feel represented in makeup. So, all right, my friends, I just did so much talking, but I need to do a little more because I need to tell you who I'm tagging. So I have a long list just because I, that's what I've done. Before I wrap up this video, I would like to tag some other creators to participate. I would like to tag Emily Lakin, Differently Labeled, Giovanna, Mary Moods and Makeup, sorry I'm looking down on my notes, Colleen from Uniquely Individually Me, and Looks by Lily. Lele, Lily, I'm so sorry, I'm not sure. But if any of you folks want to participate, I'd love to see these videos from you. I think they would be fantastic and hilarious and amazing. So yeah, I'll go tag y'all on Instagram or whatever. I have no idea why I started doing that. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, my people. <laughs> Please take good care of yourself and others and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Jessica and I would die for Harry Styles. I need to join a recovery group. <laughs> I need to think of a fun fact the moon day. I'm very small and desperate. Even my phone misses your call. What's wrong with you? Ah, come on, Jay. I think I'll do that one. I don't know. So now that I just need to keep talking.
I get like overwhelmed when I film videos where I just talk the whole time because that feels weird to me. Every so once in a while for your words, blah, 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 Yeah, nada, nothing there. I get noivous, I get stage fright, I get camera shy. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's not what I was gonna say.